Hello Fiat friends and greetings from Dusseldorf, Germany. I'm traveling for wine. It's day two of the ProVine uh, Wine Fair, the largest wine fair trade show in the world. Uh, day one was great yesterday. I found some cool new things, stories to share. Uh, right now, I'm things are just getting going. I'm in the Germany Hall and I wanted to walk around and see what we could find. We'll see you soon. Now you might wonder, how does a wine from Bulgaria or Italy or wherever or Germany get from where it is born to the wine that is in your glass now? And someone like me, an importer, would come to a trade fair like this or to the wine region itself and taste something, really like it, think it's unique and special, and then, uh, and then bring it back to the United States, we import it and sell it to a restaurant or liquor store near you. So uh, I'm gonna find a couple of interesting things for you to taste. Well, look what I've found here. I'm here with Jana. Hi. Hello. <laughs> At Weingut Pfeffingen from the Faltz. This is Scheurebe, which you will find in, in your glass. I'm having a little different expression, but this is an amazing wine. Uh, it's got, as you can see, the unicorn, the einhorn on the bottle. This uh, Scheurebe, I call it Sauvignon Blanc for grown-ups, but it's a beautiful expression, aromatic white variety, a wine that everyone needs in their life. And I think you'll enjoy this. The winery was founded in 1622, which is just over 400 years ago. So you can tell uh, producers over here have legacy and tradition as well as innovation. Choi Reba as a grape is only um, 75 years old, maybe. So amazing stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoy this wine. This to me is, is springtime in a glass. Prost taste a red wine now. Uh, the wine you have in your glass is Weingut Friedrich Becker or Fritz Becker from the Falks region of Germany. Uh, Germany makes great Pinot Noir and I'll tell you a little bit about that. I can't find Fritz's booth so I'm going to taste one of their neighbors uh, but these are pretty classic examples. Let's go check it out. Hello and we are here in the Falks region at Weingut Karl, uh, Karl Pfaffmann in Waldheim and we are tasting some Spapergunder or as you Americans would call it Pinot Noir. A reminder that Germany is the third largest producer of Pinot Noir in the world behind the US and France which make a lot of it so for it to be third in the world they, they make a lot they drink a lot of Pinot Noir in Germany it's very friendly with the food here think of schnitzel and spitzel and all the wonderful uh, cuisines that they have. We, we've enjoyed some great pairings of German food with Pinot Noir just like this. And as you can see, this passes the thumb test. It's not that dark inky stuff that's coming out of the factories in California. It's beautiful. Uh, cola and cherry, uh, alluring spices. This is a wonderful example of Pinot Noir. And next time you're shopping uh, for Pinot Noir, Look at Germany for classic examples of wine without them being um, overpriced like Oregon uh, or over jammy like parts of uh, California. These are just really great wines. Encourage you to check out Pinot Noir or Spapergunder from the Faults. Cheers.